Learning Objectives for Module 4 by Dr. Bev Knox. Titled, Sexual Arousal and Sexuality and the Life Cycle. When we speak of psychological sexual arousal, it refers to the mental or cognitive component of sexual arousal. Where a person experiences sexual desire, excitement, or pleasure in response to thoughts, fantasies, or mental imagery. This type of arousal is distinct from physical arousal, which involves the physiological changes in the body, such as increased heart rate or genital engorgement. Sexuality, in the context of psychology, encompasses a broad range of aspects related to sexual development, behavior, and identity across the lifespan. It is not just about sexual activity, but also includes biological factors, psychological processes, and social influences that shape how individuals experience and express their sexuality. When we speak of sexual development throughout the life cycle, we are referring to stages from infancy to older adulthood. During infancy, infants have no awareness of gender. In childhood, children develop self-awareness about their gender and sexuality. Then in adolescence, this stage is marked by puberty and significant physical, emotional, and social changes, including shifts in sexual identity and behavior. Next, we have adulthood. During this stage, sexual activity and relationships continue, influenced by biological factors, psychological experiences, and social contexts. And lastly, the older adulthood stage, where sexuality can continue to be a part of life with potential adjustments due to physical changes and life circumstances. The key concepts of this learning material are as follows. First, biological factors, where hormones, genetics, and physical development play a role. Then, psychological factors, where emotions, thoughts, and personality traits influence sexual behavior. And indeed, social factors, where cultural norms, family influences, and peer relationships shape sexual attitudes and behaviors. Upon completion of this lecture, the student should be able to identify the parts of a sexual response cycle and recognize theories and models of sexual arousal. Please be advised, this is an educational, academically sound psychology course by Dr. Bev Knox for adult student learners. Lecture content include discussions and representations of human sexuality, theoretical perspectives on sexuality, sex research, sexual anatomy, sex hormones, sexual arousal, attraction and love theories, gender and sexuality, sexual orientation, variations in sexual behavior, sexual coercion, sex for sale, sexual disorders, and sex therapy, ethics and religion on sexuality, and sex laws. Before beginning the course, please be mindful of your capacity to witness and respond to videos, books, and images of this content material.